Hello Victoria, this is Jeff and I'm going to show you in a, this brief video how to uh, download a recording that you make in Adobe Connect. But before we get started, I want you to look over in the right hand corner of this video screen. YouTube has uh, a little icon with four arrows. That's the full screen button. If you click that, you'd be able to see this recording a little bit larger, probably easier to see. But uh, just might want to do that before we start. But uh, first thing you need to do is this. You're going to have to go to uh, Georgia Virtual School's Adobe Connect uh, website. You'll log in and uh, you'll click on Meetings. When you click on Meetings, it'll show you all the meetings you have. Now, everybody's got you know a meeting link or a room that they can meet in. And I'm going to assume that you make a recording in one of your meetings. For example, I made one in the, my office meeting. So I know that's the meeting where I made the recording. I click on that. And when I do... Adobe gives me some information about this uh, particular meeting. Uh, it gives me the URL, which if, if I wanted students to come and you know go to the meeting and meet with me, I'd meet there. But that's not really what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is where the recording is that I made in this meeting. And if I look along the top here, it says, oh, recordings. Here are recordings you've made when you come to this link. Well, it just so happens I made a recording in this uh, meeting that I had. And it tells me right now as always, all the recordings you make start off uh, by default as a private recording. In order to make this available, I'll need to make that public. So I'm just going to click on that little box right there and say, make that recording public. Now, by making that recording public, if I click on the title of that recording, uh, Adobe says, here's a link you can give to students. And students can go online and they can watch that recording online, which that's really cool. But that's not really what you want to know. What you want to know is, how do I get this recording offline? Well, here's how you do that. I'm going to go back to where that is. And uh, I just hit my back button. But here is the recording. Well, there's a little link here that says, make offline. And if you click that link, what happens is Adobe Connect will open up that recording. It'll be very big. And when it opens it up, you'll have the opportunity to uh, make an, an offline recording or to copy it to your computer. So uh, you need to know this. If your recording is an hour, then it's going to take an hour to download that thing and make it into a movie on your desktop. If it's 10 minutes, then it'll take 10 minutes. So just keep that in mind. But uh, here's what happens if you click that link. Adobe Connect will uh, go and get that recording. It's from a meeting. It'll uh, connect to that meeting and get that recording, and it takes a second or two. And when it gets that meeting, you'll get this little message saying that, you know, playing back your recording will allow you to save it on your local machine. And it tells you to set your screen resolution at high enough. But if you're ready to go ahead and download that recording, then you click on this little button and say proceed with the offline recording. Now, when you proceed with that offline recording, it uh, the Adobe Connect says, okay, you're going to have to give a name to this file. Well, you can have a big, long name. I'm just, I know that this was about whiteboard tools, so I'm going to name this recording whiteboard tools, and I do not like any spaces in my recording name. I think that's just inviting trouble, so if I see spaces, I remove them. But you're going to have what's called an FLV file, and you're going to save that somewhere where you can find it. I'm just going to save this one to my desktop happens is the recording starts to play and it will play the duration of the recording so if you've made a recording that's an hour long it takes one hour to play that recording and it has to play it all the way to save it to your desktop so the, if it's an hour long it's going to take an hour long to save it to your desktop if it's one minute then it'll take one minute and I'll prove this to you I'm actually going to play it and you can hear this thing After Adobe Connect saves it to my computer, I'll have this little FLV file. And to watch that FLV file, I'll need an FLV player, and I can recommend a good one for you. VideoLand or VLC is an excellent program. It's free. It will play that FLV file for you. Uh, Victoria, I hope this answers your question. If you still have questions, just let me know. Thank you, and goodbye.